I know you've thought about it. How far is it across? It's 21 miles across. Currents changing every few hours. Freezing water. The hardest test in all of sport. You think I could do it? You think I can? I've decided to swim the English Channel. What do you mean? I'm going to swim the English Channel. No, I'm saying... I wasn't asking. Please pass the bread. A woman? She won't get past the seventh male. I believe she'll die in that water. You know, most men believe that we're too weak to compete. And what if I make it? Then they got a serious problem. The thing you love most, it terrifies me. I can't imagine if something happens to you. They're rooting against you, Trudy. They want the water to win. I came all this way. Might as well see England. There's no going back. You come on, girl. Kick your feet! I need you to promise me something. Don't let anyone take me out of the water, no matter what. Six miles in, she's slowing down. They don't want us to be heroes. They don't want us to be anything. Jellyfish! She's gonna have to swim through. Trudy, you don't have to do this. I don't know. Seems like a nice day for a swim. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for Young Woman and the Sea arriving to theaters from Disney on May 31st. It's your boy, QP. This is Nerds Rule the World. And joining me to talk all things Young Woman and the Sea is my pal, Heather Hurt. How are you, Heather? I can't hear you, Heather. Are you in the sea? I am. I am in the sea. I'm saying that I'm uh, I'm right next to an armpit, so I apologize. There's there is a Daisy Ridley there, but she's it's just you know all you can all see. Oh, good. I apologize. All, good. all right, Heather. Well, let's talk all things Young Woman and the Sea. We had the pleasure of screening it prior to its release. Uh, shout out to my folks at Disney uh, for recognizing Nerds Rule the World as always. Um, Heather, were you familiar with the story of Trudy Ederly, uh, the swimmer that Daisy Ridley portrays on this? Because this is based on a true story. Um, I had some base knowledge about her. Uh, but honestly, when I say base, I mean very base. Like, I actually thought she was British. I did not. I, I knew that she was European, uh, but I thought, like, she was from Europe. Um I thought because I could have sworn the first woman, like, if you had asked me yesterday before I saw the movie, I would have said she was British. Like she's, she was from the UK and that's how she did it. Um, so I knew of her, but apparently most of the facts I knew were invalid. <laughs> gotcha. What about you? Um, I did not know about Trudy Ederly. I knew that there's various people that swam the, uh, uh, English channel, uh, men and women. Um, but, uh, more so I was familiar with Diane and I had because, you know, recently, uh, over the fall of last year, we got the Nyad film, uh, mm -hmm. about Diane and Nyad on Netflix. That is a great film. Uh, check it out. Starring Annette Benning as well as Jodie Foster. Um, and her, uh, goal and dream to swim from, uh, Florida, uh, the keys to, to Cuba, um, mm -hmm. Great story. Highly re recommend that to folks watching this as well, especially those swim fans, uh, sports fans, uh, whether you're female claiming or male claiming is for everyone. Go check it out as well as this film. And we'll talk about that very soon. Why you should check it out. But uh, Diane and I had, uh, you know, was the swimmer of note uh, of recent. And so uh, I love that that kind of I feel like that's the kickstart. Uh, uh, in, and now we're getting these amazing films uh, highlighting these amazing uh, female claiming athletes. Um, uh, and I love that. Uh, and uh, 
This film uh, was, uh, again, news to me. Uh, I wasn't familiar with Trudy Edelie, and now I am, and I'm all in now after watching this film. Uh, so let's talk about, uh, well, let's give a brief synopsis on the film, as well as talk about the cast, and then we'll go into our review, Heather, as we do. Uh, this film, Young Women of the Sea, about Trudy Edderly. Uh, as I said, uh, we get uh, we start from uh, her youth. Uh, she had the measles uh, uh, and was... Uh, family was very worried about her uh they actually uh it kind of starts off her on her deathbed if you will they're thinking she's not going to make it out of it because at that time you know we didn't have the medicines and the vaccines uh, as we do now pro vax over here y'all take those vaccines get, get vaccinated friends get, get vaccinated people um so yeah they didn't have that so a lot of people thought oh my gosh they're gonna die uh and that the family was ready for it um uh, it's a very cute scene. I love it at the end because everybody's ready. They're prepping themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden, uh, Trudy Etterly walks down the steps uh, and it wasn't the doctor. And she was like, uh, the doctor fell asleep. Can I get some food? Had me smiling uh, because it's just a hard moment. You're like, they hit you in the head right out the jump. You know, they prep you, you know, what's going on? Uh, I was thinking that the other girl was going to get inspired from the daughter, dot from her sister dying and become the swimmer. I, didn't, I wasn't sure who was the swimmer at this point, whose story we're tracking right now. Uh, but it's Trudy Ederly. Uh, she survives out of that. Uh, the family then, you know, you learn that they're immigrants. Uh, they're trying to make their way uh, very cultural uh, in their lifestyle uh, uh, and, and upbringing of arranged marriages, of working for the family, doing all this, uh, you know, Focus on family, focus on this. Uh, but the mother, I, I love Trudy Etterly's mother in this, uh, fights for her daughters, fights to change uh, from the archetypes of her arranged upbringing and, and her husband and, you know, all this male dominated society, the patriarchy, y'all fighting against that. She was like, I want to get my, uh, I want my daughters to learn how to swim because uh, they had heard the news broadcast that there is a bunch of women uh, at that time that were on this boat and could have easily came off the boat and walked to shore. The, the water was actually enough for them to slightly swim and then walk to shore, but they all passed away on this boat because they didn't know how to swim. And that just kind of inspires uh, her to teach the kids. And also you'll learn something else about uh, the mother's sister later on, but I don't want to spoil things there that, you know, I want my kids to swim. And, and it's also something that, you know, can get them doing stuff. And so gets them enrolled in, into swim class. Uh, Trudy's sister, uh, played by Tilda Cobham uh, Henry Her Hervey, uh, who's also phenomenal as well. I love the sisterhood in this. Again, I love the mother in this. Daisy, uh, I I'll say it out the rip. Daisy, probably my favorite role po post Star Wars, if not more than Star Wars. I actually loved her more in, Star in this than I did Star Wars. I'm being real. Uh, great in Star Wars, but just I thought she was phenomenal in this. Uh, but Tilda Cobham Hervey plays her sister, who is her hero, if you will, in many resorts. I love the sisterhood in this. Uh, they both take up swimming. Uh, Trudy then eventually shines, uh, surpassing her sister, eventually making it to the Olympic team, uh, and then uh, having the dream uh, to swim the English Channel. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. That's kind of like the base synopsis of the story because I don't want to spoil things. Um, but this is based on true story. So if you know your history, you know uh, the deal on this. Um, but just a great story, an inspiring story, uh, a great sports film. Uh, a lot of people claim, uh, I know for myself, Rudy is their, like, their favorite soup, uh, sports film uh, starring Sean Astin uh, in the Notre Dame story uh, of Rudy you know, playing at Notre Dame. To me, this is right up there with Rudy as one of the best sports films of all time. I, I personally really enjoy this. I don't know about Heather's feelings, uh, but I thought it was a great inspirational story. It has all the beats, all the characters all play their parts. Uh, you get mad, you get sad, you get angry. Uh, especially the coach uh, the, that's put on by uh, the financier hated that guy. Um, you'll learn why if you once you see it. Um, but yeah, uh, great uh, story. Uh, again, the cast, uh, Daisy Ridley, phenomenal. Uh, she plays our Trudy Ederly. Tilda Cobham Hervey uh, plays her sister, who is Margaret Ederly. Jeanette Hahn plays the mother, Gertrude Eleni uh, Ederly. Uh, and pretty much the rest of the cast are a lot of unknowns. However, there's Christopher Eccleston, who we know, a uh, phenomenal actor, but he's the evil coach, uh, I feel. I, I hated him, uh, who was once a swimmer that tried to swim the English Channel, couldn't make it, so he kind of 
holds down uh, our girl Trudy Ederly in this. Um, he's probably the most uh, known actor outside of Daisy uh, Ridley in this. And we also have a uh, shout out to uh, the director, Joaquin Roning, as well as uh, the writers on this, because I think they did a phenomenal job. Uh, Jeff Nathanson uh, wrote this uh, and is based on the book by Glenn Stout. Uh, that's your cast, your crew and your basic synopsis. Heather, let me throw it to you because I've been chatting too much. Uh, so what were your thoughts coming into this? Uh, and then let's get into this review. What did you think of Young Woman and the Sea? Um, I'm going to start by getting on a soapbox. And I know that I never get on we a soapbox. We don't do that here, Heather. Right? What are you talking uh, I, about? I'm, I'm going to say this because I think that it's really important because it can impact how, not only how someone experiences this as a regular viewer, but as as someone who is a critic, as someone who is trying to look at this as a non-biased perspective, it can in, uh, affect how we watch a film, um, especially when it comes to things like when we can't hear entire lines because your child that is too young to watch a movie is there at the theater with you. Parents, we have said this on the movie theater multiple, we have said, said this on this channel multiple times. Please do your research before you take your children to the theater. Just because the movie stars as a lady from Star Wars or just because it says Disney at the top does not mean that it is made for a five-year-old. It does not mean that it's made for an eight-year-old. Most children, and I, I'm saying this from personal perspective, personal experience, I love biopics and I've loved them for years, but most, most kids get kind of bored with a slow-paced bio, historical biopic. Please just do your your research because how that they when they loudly decide to tell you how bored they are during a movie, you are in fact not just impacting your experience, you're impacting everyone around you. Um, I also want to give a horrid shout out to the journalist who decided to bring his three children, all of whom would not shut up, especially his five-year-old child. I literally, there are five or six lines in this movie I did not hear at all because he was screaming, daddy, daddy, honey bunches of oats, do your work. And you just ruin this for a couple other people, including other critics. Okay, stepping back. Going to the review itself, I was actually pleasantly surprised by this movie. I was going in it, kind of going in. It's going to be a fun movie. It's probably going to be sweet. It's a Disney movie. It's a D Disney biopics have a tendency to uh, be lighter toned in general. Um, my husband actually got to come with me and we both walked out pleasantly surprised with this movie. Um we we were I, and I will say that one of the moments in the climax at the end it like it actually got me. I was not expecting to walk out of this movie like red faced and in tears because I'm usually not one of those people that does that. I'm not saying that I don't cry, but I'm saying I'm usually not one of those people. Um, but yeah, I think I was pleasantly surprised and uh, it, it was good. It's it's a little bit long, but it's purposely slow paced. So even though it, it was it was longer, it's a two hour film. It didn't feel like it had empty moments. It didn't feel like like I, my husband and I were trying to figure out if there was anything we could remove from that tw two hour period. No, no. Um, other than it being a little bit slow paced, but once again, purposefully, it, this was a this was a this was a, an interesting movie, um, and I do suggest it. Yeah. All right. How about you? Good. And uh, I know we don't get on our soapbox, but I understand uh, definitely uh, the moving ex the movie experience can be uh, messed up when you have people that don't respect each other uh, in the audience and what they bring to the film and not having proper knowledge. Uh, so just do better out there, people. Do better. Think of others uh, and do better. Um, you you're, as parents, do you have a good, I, I, this is a serious question to parents out there. Do you really have a good experience when you take your kids to something they don't want to do? Uh, no, not at all. And you should be cognizant of that. You should be cognizant of the material and cognizant of your own kids, especially if they act up. If they act up once, then it's already it's time to leave. Um, do not put that onto others. I was very cognizant of my child when she was young. Uh, if she were to act up, uh, actually, there was a certain point that I wasn't going to bring, that I didn't bring her to films into. I knew she was prepared for that. And then when I saw that there was an experience, then it's time to leave because uh, I'm not going to. I, I am knowledgeable of my surroundings and the people that uh, whatever I do can affect um, I, I don't, as a person of color, we don't have that luxury uh, of being that way, uh, of not being considerate because of certain things that have happened throughout history. So, Absolutely. um, Absolutely. very and, cognizant. And just to add, this is, this is actually a part of the review. I'm um, going back to that, get, stepping down from the soapbox, but being honest with everybody. Um, if, if you are taking your kids to this, I, I would say it's, it, this is definitely, you know, like, I think it's like PG or PG 13. Like it's not that bad. The worst word in this is ass. 
Like it, there, there's nothing horrible about this movie. It is very family friendly. Um, but I will say this, it is slow paced. There were multiple parents who we, and uh, I, I saw this movie with, uh, it was technically one of those free showings and Hey, use and abuse where you can. I'm not going to harp on that. Do it. Um, but it's one of those where several parents, especially with young kids walked out of this movie. I'm going to say that. And, and it's not that they didn't like it, but it was very, it was very clear that their children weren't enjoying it. Um, so when, when you're thinking about a movie, when you're thinking about a night out, when you want to do something with your kids, think about something that they will enjoy. Um, because we did have several people walk out and I, and I will say that the parents seemed pretty upset because I think once again, this was a surprisingly good movie. And I think a lot of parents were kind of upset that they had to leave. So for themselves because they want for themselves yes exactly it's i i think like i, I want to include that in in the review it's i think many people were surprised with the quality of this film and the fact that they had to leave i think was was a, a severe impact so gotcha gotcha but yes just again do better people be cognizant of your surroundings uh the people that you have brought with you so that they don't enjoy the experience for others um and also hurt yourself you may enjoy this and then you'll you have to you know be upset for yourself that you couldn't enjoy this as uh, to heather's point um so young woman and the sea uh again uh i want to talk hit some other notes before we get up out of here in regards to our feelings on this film uh i wanted to point out one other actor that i didn't earlier um because i really enjoyed her performance uh trudy Etterly, daisy ridley's character her first coach um, mm -hmm. is played by a uh, uh, Sean Clifford. Her character's name is uh, where is it? Oh, I had it. Like Lottie Epstein. Uh, I think it's. I think is it Sean? Is that how you say her name? Sean. It's S I A N Clifford. Uh, yeah. Excuse me on the pronunciation, but her character's name is Lottie Epstein. Really loved her character as our first mm -hmm. coach, uh, and she. Uh, you'll learn more with the the, the film that she has this amazing uh, woman coach, uh, female claiming coach. Uh, again, I'm trying to pr show respect to my non-binary and binary people out there. Um, that is just amazing. But then she can't take him, uh, her with her uh, later on. And it has this evil coach in Cl uh, Cliff Eck Eccleston, Christopher Eccleston, uh, who is a nice phenomenal, phenomenal nice actor, but just I hated his guts. Uh, so let's talk about. Uh, maybe favorite moments, favorite actors, le uh, favorite characters, least favorite characters. Heather, uh, let's let's start with the char uh, characters first. Uh, favorite character, least favorite character. Uh, let's start with the least. I like to start with the negative and then end with the positive. Let's go on characters. Who's your least favorite character in this? Um, my least favorite. Uh, I honestly, when it comes to actually actors, like which are, once again, we try to be a little bit uh, unbiased here when it comes to what how we look at it. And I, I honestly got to say, I really didn't not like anyone in this movie. No one was necessarily weak in this movie um when it comes to characters i mean you're supposed to naturally hate uh, exactly nice that, that, that's what i mean uh, okay I was saying, I think you're, the, supposed to, you're, supposed to naturally, you're supposed to naturally hate the ninth doctor which is really unfortunate because you know he's the ninth doctor um but and i don't know why he was here in this timeline anyway it's kind of weird it's not really his place um but it's one of those where the coach is supposed to be that antagonist and but but uh Eccleston did what he needed to do to make you hate him. And that's what was really great about it. It's you hated who you were supposed to hate. You disliked, like there's a difference between hate and dislike. You disliked who you were supposed to hate. And then you truly appreciated who you were supposed to uh, appreciate. Like uh, Glenn Flesher, who plays James Sullivan, who who uh, was a uh, one of the men who were one of the early successors who were able to survive the English Channel. Um, you find out, I'm not gonna give more because actually what his character does, if you don't know who he is from a historical standpoint, is really important. Um, I, I really loved him. Uh, so you you think you don't, he, the characters that you think you're not supposed to like, you like, and it's it's, they really played those characters out well. Um, on the other hand, my favorite character was Glenn Flesher as uh, as James Sullivan. I absolutely adored him. Um, and just shout out to Alexander Karam who played uh, I Ishik Ishik. I can't remember how he, how he said his name. Uh, surprisingly, just a fun side character. So definitely. Yeah. Uh, so Christopher Eccleston, uh, phenomenal actor. But mm -hmm. yes, his character. Oh, I hated him so much because of what he does to hold back our girl, Trudy. Um, you'll see when you watch this film. I'm curious if it actually happened in real life. But yes, I just can't wait for his get his just desserts towards the end. Uh, because, you know, uh, he wanted to hold her back because he couldn't successfully swim the English Channel. And it was just uh, phenomenal um, mm -hmm. there. Uh, my favorite character is, again, Daisy Ridley. Um, we love her as, uh, you know, as our Rey from Star Wars, but... Lo yeah, I, I love Star Wars. I love R.A. and I wish that 
part of the trilogy was a lot stronger. Uh, we all know the changes that occurred, um, but I think she still was phenomenal in it, regardless of uh, what was given to her in regards to the material. I uh, thought she was great there, but I think she shines as Trudy Ederly. Everything that we love about Daisy Ridley as an actor uh, shone through in this. And we saw vulnerability uh, a, a lot more in Young Women in the Sea than we got in uh, as Ray. So uh, Daisy Ridley, uh, again, shows why she's a star, shows why she was chosen as Ray uh, in Young Women in the Sea. It was just phenomenal. Uh, I came uh, leaving the film wanting to learn more about Trudy Ederly as a person. Um, cause again, this was based on a true story, uh, the whole, uh, story behind, uh, Trudy Ederly. Uh, but again, Daisy really shines my favorite, uh, in this film. Uh, again, her sister, I love the sisterhood in this. Uh, there's a part that made me cry, uh, again. And I already said it earlier. She says in the part that, you know, uh, her sister is her hero. Uh, there's things that happen throughout the film again, that I'm not going to spoil. Um, but just, just that sisterhood, that relationship they had. Uh, and then the fact that, you know, Trudy's a hero. She's this hero uh, is swimmer, has all these records, but, and everybody is, that's the young women, women think that's her hero, uh, uh, you know, rightfully so. But for Trudy, her sister, her uh, hero is her sister, who's just, you know, she's not a big swimmer. She's not anything. She's her sister. And that just made me cry. Um, and also her mother, who's also phenomenal, who fought tooth and nail against her husband, loving husband, but just very set in his old ways patriarchal system back then um later comes to terms with his family and his daughters in, in this later um but just uh, the mother character who uh fights uh, tooth and nail for her daughter and then later on as she's doing this uh english channel swim heads over to nbc if you will and that you'll see that in the film i love that moment and also oh that actor that's in that uh who was the anchor there uh we love him we've seen him in other films what is his name um, but uh, you've seen him; he's amazing. Uh, gosh, uh, I wanted to find that name. Is that Roy Hill? No, that was um, that wasn't Roy Hill. He was in that uh, that uh, Shakespeare film with Denzel, and yeah. was phenomenal in that film. Um, ah, I'm I'm missing it right now. Uh, but just an amazing cast. Everybody in this uh did the damn thing. Um, was your lead guy the 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 swimmer that swam the English Channel, the one that you loved as a character? Mm -hmm. Okay, amazing. You'll see the scenes uh, <laughs> that he is in that. I, I really enjoyed him too, Heather. Uh, he was a, a great uh, cast member in this. Just again, the whole cast was phenomenal, but Daisy Ridley uh, shows you why she's a star and it, rightfully so uh, great uh, there. Um, let's head over to uh, least favorite moment or favorite moment uh, for you uh, to, to close us out uh, with this review, Heather. Uh, do you have a favorite moment at, at all that just like really made you shine? Um, there was really... a moment at the end, uh, once again, it's, I'm not usually the crier, I leave that up to QAP. Um, he, can, he can be the girl in this situation. Uh, <laughs> I'm all good with it. Uh, he's, um, I, I'm usually not a huge crier, but there was a moment uh, at, at, during the climax that I'm not going to give away because it is an, incredibly emotionally, uh, it, it was incredibly emotional, um, and it's not what you think. Uh, it's, it's really not, um, but it is part of the climax. You'll see it when you see it because you're going to just be like all of a sudden crying. Like, why am I crying at this very moment in time? Um, so and, and it wasn't anything like jump, jump out. It was just one of those moments that just kind of uh, encapsulated how how well this movie flowed and how it pulled your emotions side to side in a very um, in a very uh, controlled way. So but once again, I, I, I wish I could give more information, but it the the climax there there are moments where you just see that you have been pulled um purposefully by this movie um emotionally and it's it's very interesting um least favorite moment uh there there are things with meg um that you can tell were cut uh primarily for time um so it's not necessarily a single moment it's more like you want to know more and it's it's never a bad thing to want to know more it actually shows quality uh, of something when you want to know more so it what i'm going to say is the worst is when when she came back from the olympics and meg was just she was literally at one spot she was literally at a and then she went to c and you're like what happened in between um and so the, it, it's more the lack of information that that is was the was the dropping point for me i guess is the good answer to that you know what, what i i was trying to figure out my least favorite moment um as while you were talking because since i threw it in your court uh at the moment and i actually would echo that as well um because uh 
also to your point earlier, where if there are certain things I would cut, you know, where I would cut it, I thought, again, like you said, it's slow paced, but personal. There's not really a part in this. I think everything is done very well as a film, as a script, mm -hmm. uh, that every moment is important to the overall tone and uh, flow of the film. Um, but to the point in regards to choosing a moment in that that I didn't like, because I really enjoyed this film, uh, is young Meg, the sister character, uh, where she's in a relationship, we find that out, but then it there's a moment where she's in this relationship, and then there's the the push from the family uh, and 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 uh, arranged marriages, uh, if you will. And I'll leave it at that because I, we don't want to spoil. But it's a weird switch in that because there's that whole situation, like you said. I wanted to know that storyline, but it doesn't fit in the overall to Trudy's storyline. It, it, um, it's it's a valid yeah. cut, but it's like exactly what happened. Yeah. Yeah, wanted to know more there, um, but mm -hmm. I'm completely there with you. Um, every moment was important. Uh, was a uh, was a, I, I love the moments with the mom at NBC. Uh, the moments with the with his sister. You're my hero. That made me cry. The father. Uh, I was cheering as she goes through jellyfish. Like, oh, the pain. Uh, oh, I was yeah. mad again with the coach and holding our girl back. Um, the many moments that this coach held our girl back. Um, but then just inspired and just uh, towards the end, as you'll see, uh, just a stirring, powerful film and uh, and just a history notes. I love also when we get these biopics, uh, we get uh, some footage and, and or pics uh, to let us know more of the story and about the person um, in this. Uh, because it's in history, it's not spoilers. Uh, you know, they're Trudy Ederly later on in life becomes deaf and then later teaches deaf children how to swim. Oh, I was balling. I was, a, I'm a crier now, y'all. I'm an empath. Um, but just knowing that was just so very sweet. Um, mm -hmm. this, uh, uproarious, uh, love when she comes back after swimming the English channel. I didn't know this, but cause, and it, which is crazy to me. You know, the Yankees, the the Knicks, uh, the Giants, uh, the Jets. New York has all these sports athletes in, in teams and just, you know, the Macy's Parade, everything. To learn that neither man or, you know, uh, no one has had a bigger parade than Trudy Ederly when she, when she came back after swimming the English Channel. That's phenomenal. New York always has big parades, but there hasn't been a bigger parade like there was for Trudy Ederly when she came back after swimming. It's just wow to me. Um, just Just everything is just amazing and just her story again I'm, I'm looking forward to learning more about uh trudy Ederly, and i hope disney gives us more of these amazing inspiring films uh that just uh shine this was really well done uh from top to tails uh cast and crew bravo it takes a village to make a film again i always say that as a filmmaker i know that wholeheartedly and i think everybody did the damn thing on this i was very pleasantly surprised i came into this with nothing and i think like heather as well we we i don't even think we did a review a trailer reaction for this film uh in lead up um and i was literally blown away um Shout out to Daisy Ridley. Shout out to the entire cast and crew. Young Woman to See. Highly recommend. Uh, in theaters now, y'all. Uh, any other last words, Heather, before we get up out of here? Just keep kicking. Make sure you keep kicking. Yes. Just keep kicking. Shout out to Lottie Epstein, a.k.a. Sean Clifford. The, uh, another thing. Yeah, I loved her as her role as the coach. Just, uh, and was so mad that she couldn't go uh, to cheer on our girl and help our girl out. Um, just a great film. It made me smile and made me cry and made me cheer. It made me run through all the emotions. And that's the ticket of a great film. All right. Heather Hurt, your boy QEP, Nerds Rule the World. We out. Let's talk all things. Oh, before talk all things, let's let's keep it going on in the comments, y'all. All right, we out.
What's going on, y'all? It's your boy KP. Nerds rule the world. Just got out of the press screening for Young Woman and the Sea. Initial thoughts coming out so good, y'all. Get your tickets. Disney gives you another inspirational film that's just gonna, man, it's gonna make you you cry. It's gonna make you smile. It's gonna make you happy. It's just so inspiring. Probably one of the best sports films I've seen. Um, just so good. Highly recommend. I'm going to have a full review on the channel. I'm going to be talking about it on the radio. you got to check this one out and learn more about Trudy Ederly because uh, this is based on a true story. So I want to know all about her and everything. It's so good. You're going to want to check it out. Young Woman in the Sea. Check it out, y'all. You both please be.